You most certainly can use your own image or a picture as a background in your web form, but first you, you need to get the image URL. And it's really easy to do that. For example, if you go ahead and upload the image to your multimedia studio. You can do that by going to My Account, Account Details, and then click on Multimedia Studio. Once you've done that, go to the Photos and Images tab and upload the file right here. You can just upload file and find the uh, image from your computer, for example. Then once you see the image you would like to use as your background, just hover your mouse over it and right click. Whoops, didn't do that right the first time. And then you can just simply choose um, copy uh, image location, location, for example. So this is like copying the, the URL of the image. So we'll copy image location. And it might say something different for you, but it's generally copy image URL, copy image link, something like that. And now let's go to Web Forms, Create New. And we can kind of choose maybe the, um, the default one here because we're going to be adding a picture. So we want to choose probably, let's say we want it in the body. We're going to do uh, Add Image. And then it's going to ask you down here for the image URL. So we'll just paste in what we uh, got, and we'll click Apply. And so that added the image, but also as a background, of course, I should click Show Advanced. In addition, background image, copy and paste it there, click Enter, and it's the, um, the image of that will come in as the background. And you can choose if you want, you know, where exactly you want it, if you want it to repeat, for example, how you want it to repeat you know, where you want it, center, bottom, something like that. So you can definitely play around with it. Play around with the different sizes and things like that because the size will depend on the size of the image that you copied the link location from. So also I could show you back in Multimedia Studio opening the image up larger, then right clicking, copy image location, back to our web form, Let's see, we can just take any of these probably. Okay, and just the same. I'll choose the body, show advanced. And as you can see, the image is bigger. Uh, and then you can you know, choose how you want it again. If you want it centered, if you want it to repeat. For example, if, if it was smaller or something like that. So that's how you can mess around with it. Um, if you do the little thumbnail, like I showed you the first time, it'll be smaller. So you could maybe repeat it and have some more options. Or if you click on the image and it's bigger, it comes in its bigger size and copy the image location from there, it'll be a bit bigger. So definitely play around, fully customize it, choose exactly where you want it. You can add it. Of course, also the header. You could just use show advanced. And then part of the image could also be in the header as well. So there's definitely lots of cool options you can choose to provide backgrounds, and all you need is the image URL.